Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at a plugin for Photoshop. Uh, this plugin allows you to create normal maps for 3D objects. Now, NVIDIA makes a tool uh, for this uh, to quickly create normal maps. You go to their developer page, uh, NVIDIA Texture Tools for Photoshop. You can get the 32-bit or the 64-bit. You download it, install it into your uh, Adobe Photoshop's plugin folder. So here I'm working on this texture for uh, Werewolf, and he has really hairy arms and legs. So I created this real quick to test out the new material system for Second Life. So I'm on this layer. I've made a copy so I can work on the original later. Go to Filter, NVIDIA Tools, Normal Maps. I check uh, Add Height to Normal Maps, Invert the Y. I scale it to 5. I always check R Average RGB. And in the middle, you have options for 3D viewing, previewing. Hit the 3D preview. You can see your map in 3D with a light passing over it. So that's pretty handy. Now we can click OK. So here's my map. I can save it. And then we can go into Second Life and see what, look, what it looks like. So here we are in Second Life. And here in front of me is the character I'm working on. And I'm actually off to the side here, off to the left. And uh, I'm just wearing a specular map and a texture. Of course, all of this stuff, I'm still working on this stuff. And these, this example is just a quick test that I did for this character. He's wearing a bump map right now. You can see it on his chest and his arms and his face. And if I turn it around, you can see how detailed it can get on his face. Of course, these are just tests. This is not what my character is going to look like at the end but I just wanted to show you real quick and if I take away the bump map you can see how smooth everything is and that's from the speculars too so here I have my texture folder I can apply the bump map and this character actually has two sets of faces so I'm going to select his other face and apply the other map and there we go the bump map so that's a quick look at Bump Maps in Second Life, and uh, have a good one.